starting lineup. None in the tight five, it must be said. They were absolutely outstanding against Wales. As I said, dominated possession, dominated territory. And as a result, Ironi Mawi, Samuel Matavezi and Luke Tangi carry on in that front row. As to the second row, Nasila Sila and Diki Rika Devita. Well, one change in the back row. Sees Levani Botte coming to join Lakima Tangi Tangi Walu and Viliamo Mata. Possession not been the problem for this team though. Finishing has and as a result three changes and one positional switch in the back line. First change Simeone Kuruvoli wears the number nine. He joins Teti Taylor in that 10 shirt. And out wide it's Semi Randrandro who moves to the left wing making way for Joshua. To it's over in the midfield to combine with the captain was here now at the level. Tutti Wanigolo wears the 14. Ramaradra on the wing. It's a back four that is just sensational in terms of talent. And right at the back, they've got Inesa and Troa Sesi. He continues in that 15 shirt. It's a lineup capable of scoring points from anywhere. They'll need to do it today. A couple of changes on the bench as well. Albert Tuisui drops down, as does Frank Lamania and Benaya Ambasi. And in comes Villamani Ambasi. Well, the team is announced. There's a change on the front row with James Slipper coming into the tight head position, wearing the number three shirt for only the third start in over 131 caps. Today's 132nd. He will be tested in that position as he joins the newly honoured captain, David Perecki and Angus Bell. Nick Frost came into the second row to replace Richie Arnold, who then came in to replace Will Skelton. No changes in the loose forward trio. The young hoop has been outstanding. McWright has been impressive. And the ever-present Rob Valentini will have a lot on his plate today. The new halfback combination, though. It's Nick White who makes a little return to his scrum off and joins Carter Gordon, who's been going pretty well. The firepower lies outside those two. Samu Karevi and Jordan Pataya can be real handfuls but they need quality ball to these two. As to the two fellas outside, that Mikkel Marika Corabetti been one of the stars of Australian rugby for so long now. And the young and up and coming, the dynamic mark, Nawanga Nitawazi, playing on that right wing. Ben Donaldson was outstanding against Georgia, scoring 25 points and earned himself a man of the match award. Not too much, well, I should say not too many caps on the bench. Jordan Yelesi makes a timely return. Just six caps amongst the two props. Two Fijian born players there as well. This is that Lena Wasa. An early tournament blockbuster with huge ramifications in Pool C at Rugby World Cup 2023. the boot of Ben Donaldson, we are underway in Pool C. Australia and Fiji. Here through Rob Bellatini, bring down a nice line-out ball and they'll peel away here with Angus Bell. Driving hard. Early pressure coming on Fiji's defensive line as Australia, who made a fast start against Georgia, look to do the same here. We got it. Able to regain control as Bellatini peels away. Wrestled oh, eventually to the ground, another advantage for Australia, second high shot. An easy action and an easy strike for Ben Donaldson. Kicks an early penalty to put Australia up. Three points to nil in the opening three minutes. And the ball and the retention is quick as well. Good spot tackle made though this time by Australia. Fiji this time though getting a penalty. As Kodavoli takes it all upon himself, he's called back as the penalty is played as it opens up for the halfback. Strikes it really well. Distance is good, direction is excellent, and Fiji are on the board with their first penalty. Neither team has given a quarter in this opening 20 minutes. Parity across the board, very few errors as Botia peels away. Good tackle made on him by Porecki, but Matavesi is there to bring Fiji up over halfway and get a penalty as well. Going against Fraser McWright, losing his feet. Intense focus. Again, the distance is no problem. Nor is the direction. It's superb kicking from Simeone Kuravoli to put Fiji in front of the second penalty. Six points to three. Tangi Tangi Valu once no more, his second carry in the movement. He's driven back in another good hit. Australia's defence has been very well organised so far, even though it might bend every so often. Matavesi 
tips it on for Tangi Tangi Valu. Oh, stolen away. Australian hands play on as the call is white. Oh, that's hackless away downfield. It's a huge trace for Rundradra. The bounces. Perfect for Australia. It's a 50 22. And Mark Noang and Nithawasi has struck for Australia. Well, they have a reputation for being the thinkers of World Rugby Australia. They always come up with a way, they make a plan. Boy, have they made a plan this time round. And then take it. This is where the turnover came. Oh, I'm not sure how you can get away with playing the ball on the ground like that. The kick was a great one, though. To be fair, Andrade was trying to get back there. The bounce is too good. Not happy, knock on. Yeah. It's well taken and brilliantly right. thought out. Just not sure that the, ba the foundation on which it was built was right. And that last point, not happy. Maya Thalevu is still having words with the referee Andrew Brace. Donaldson from wide and it'll stay wide so the margin will be two the points are on the board and Australia have some more this one down well as they move forward just get it rolling nicely very close to that sideline though very close Donaldson and the ball's spilled on Fiji side here goes Kutavoli streaking away to the roar of the crowd again up towards the 22 and then lost by Tangi okay, Luke okay. Tangi down okay. low Well, the roar you Don't may have heard is from the crowd, tackle. and I think the TMO has come in to have another look at something. Okay. Perhaps the hit on Kudavoli as he review. went to ground. I don't think there's too much wrong with it on, on the first look. Oh, maybe a little bit around, around there, maybe a little bit high in terms of the hit. Four on to the head from that angle. But you can also see that uh, Kurabali dipping down into the Nick White challenge to the tackle, so you can obviously understand that they're just giving a penalty, which I think is the right decision. Absolutely superb off the tee once more. Simeone Kurabali does just that, and Fiji nudge ahead. As we head towards the half-hour mark, it's Fiji 9, Australia 8. Playing with him at the Leicester Tigers, what a champion of a human being. More! And a great player. Keep it up! What a player he was. There were some shots in him riding the roller coaster of the game against Wales the other day. He'll be happy with this, though, as they rumble forward and earn an advantage here. Good work from the line-out for three, Fiji, and here's the penalty. Simeone could have wore his best strike of the lot. Poreki hits his man and Nick White will send it into touch and send us to half-time on what has been a pulsating, thunderous at times. Second half underway in this Pool C match. A potentially decisive encounter of Fiji when will blow the group wide open. And you're trying to add a couple more bodies in as Australia are told to use it, and Frost will send this up with that educated right box kick. It's coming down for Rundradra, just on his own side of halfway. Nawanga Nitawasi is there to wrap him up. All laid back for Fiji. And use it! Not 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 sets to return favourite. Carter Gordon coming forward for Australia. They don't get near it, though. It's allowed to bounce, and it's going to land to Toysoma. They've got a clear run through the corner. Jotsua Toysoma flies over the line. Well, every now and then you need a little bit of luck. You need to bounce to the ball. You can celebrate to a Sally Serebi. Well, the kick was a good one. Australia didn't, didn't get any hands on it. It bounced between the two jumpers. They were both dummy jumped. Nothing and two is over. Big and strong and powerful. Enough pace to get to the corner. Try number yeah. one for Fiji today. And how important is that going to be?
You can't both shoulder to shoulder, is it? Sorry, Joe, carry on. I was going to say, you, you both jumpers were, were almost doing it. damage jumps. They, they almost damaged themselves. Yeah. You just can't yeah. leave the man, can you? No, I mean, it's true, it's over. I mean, he's already made together. eight ball carries. He cannot miss. The Serie has been an issue for Fiji. It's nicely oh. brought down by you saw Narcilla Silla and Matavesi peels away. Oh, the ball just bounced hard into the chest of Lamani, but they're playing under advantage. Referee had Australia up offside. So they've got a penalty here. Lomani. This one just pushed away to the left. Lamani makes no mistake this time, and now Fiji starting to think it's possible as that lead is extended out 22 points to eight. They lead Australia. Come on. Huge oh. chance here for Australia. Time starting to tick against them. It's a good line out ball from Lamani, Matt Phillip, and now all the entry. backs pile into the small. It's tucked in the back under the right wing of Borecki. They've got advantage. Australia organised up towards the line. Borecki, another advantage for them. Gunivalo over. Quick pick. Six entry. And Suliasi Gunivalo. Seventeen pass. Quite good. Scores the try. Australia desperately needed. Still got ten or twelve minutes to go. Boy, he's got some. Little electrifying feet there to dart through them all. He's right in the French players amongst the forwards, mixing it up, stretches. Certainly scores. Fiji battling to defend them all this time round, and penalty advantage was against them already. Ben Donaldson to close the gap for Australia, expertly done. Another two to the total. Australia fighting back, it's Fiji 22, Australia 15 with 10 to play. Doso Fiji, Doso echoes around, go Fiji go. Those passionate fans, but Australia, one more chance. The scrum disintegrates all over the place, penalty Fiji! What a moment for a big scrum. Look what it means to these Fijian players. It's the first time since 1954 they have beaten Australia. What a time, what a place to do it. Shot, shot is good. Kicking for goal to take That's away the losing bonus 15. point. Let's go. For all the passion and all the heart, it's now clinical and ruthless from Fiji. Oh, the big concern of the uprights. If he misses, it's going to go dead. But if it hits the upright and comes back into play, this is a, a brave move, a courageous move, a smart move. Take away the losing bonus point. Wow. Lomani will push it wide, but it goes dead. And a result 69 years in the making. Sees Fiji beat Australia. In a pulsating encounter in Saint Etienne, they've lit up the Rugby World Cup. And it's Fiji 22, Australia 15.